Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ambal Mahalanyam Engineering College, Kovil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the solution and discussion on gate exam questions in Mechanical Engineering. This is lecture number 48. We are going to discuss the answers for few questions in the subject fluid kinematics. So, this is part 3 in the fluid kinematics. The first question from 2007 question paper, which combination of the fo following statement about steady incompressible forced vertex flow is correct? There are four statements. P. Shear stress is 0 at all points in the flow. Q. Vorticity is 0 at all points in the flow. R. Velocity is directly proportional to the radius from the center of the vertex. Yes, total mechanical energy per unit mass is constant in the entire flow field. So, the here the answer is the statement R and S they are correct. P, Q statement are not correct. We will see how R and S are correct. For steady incompressible forced vertex flow, Forced vortex flow is defined as the vortex flow in which external torque is required to rotate the fluid mass. The fluid mass rotate at a con constant angular velocity omega. We take the statement P, the shear stress is 0 at all points in the flow. So, shear stress always exists due to the torque acting on the mass of the fluid. So, shear stress is not 0, it is always there. So, statement P is wrong. Statement Q, vorticity is 0 at all points in the flow. For, for forced vertex flow, vorticity exists at all points of the flow because the flow is rotating. So, vorticity is existing. So, statement Q is wrong. Statement R, velocity is directly proportional to the radius from the center of the vertex. So, for, we know the for forced vertex flow, the velocity is directly proportional to the radius. So, the statement is correct. R statement R is correct. Then S statement, total energy, mechanical energy per unit mass is constant in the entire flow field. So, this statement is also correct. So, R and S, they are correct. The next question from 2009 question paper, you are asked to evaluate assorted fluid flow for their suitability in the given laboratory application. The following three choices expressed in terms of two dimensional velocity field in the xy plane are made available. So, P, U equal to 2AY, V equal to minus 3X, Q, U equal to 3XY, V equal to 0, R, U equal to minus 2X, V equal to 2Y. Which flow should be recommended when the application requires the flow to be incompressible and irrotational? So, there are three uh, choices available with the velocity component for the two-dimensional flow. The flow should satisfy the condition incompressible and irrotational flow. So, which of the uh, three, which of the three correct? So, R only, R only will satisfy the requirement of incompressible and irrotational flow. So, we will see how in the next slide. The velocity component P, Q, R is given here. For choice P, we take the continuity equation. Dou U by dou X plus dou V by dou Y equal to 0. So, substituting and differentiating dou by dou X of 2Y and dou by dou F y of minus 3x equal to 0. So, 0 is 0 plus 0. So, the answer is 0. So, the flow is incompressible. So, that condition is satisfied. Incompressibility condition is satisfied. Then, for two-dimensional irrotational flow, the flow will be two-dimensional irrotational if dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y equal to 0. So, substituting dou by dou x of minus 3x minus dou by dou y of 3, 2y equal to 0. Now, the differentiation gives minus 3 minus 2, it is not equal to 0. So, it is not irrotational flow. So, it is rotational flow. So, the irrotational flow condition is not satisfied. For choice Q, so again continuity equation, dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y equal to 0. Substituting dou by dou x of 3xy plus dou by dou y 0 equal to 0. So, 3y plus 0 equal to 0. The condition is not satisfied. So, it is the, the flow is not incompressible. For choice R, dou by dou x plus dou, y, dou v by dou y equal to 0, substituting dou by dou x minus 2x plus dou y, dou by dou y, 2y equal to 0, minus 2 plus 2 equal to 0. So, the flow is incompressible. 
for two dimensional irrotational flow do v by do x minus do u by do y equal to 0 substituting do by do x of 2 y minus do by do y of 2 x equal to 0. So, again it is 0. So, this is irrotational flow. So, the two conditions are satisfied only by the statement R condition R. So, the flow is ir incompressible and irrotational only for the choice R that is the correct answer. The next question, consider a steady flow of water in a situation where two pipes pipeline pipeline 1 and 2 combined in a single pipeline 3 as shown in the figure. The cross sectional area of all the three pipelines are constant. The following data is given. Pipe 1 area 1 meter square velocity 1 meters per second. Pipe 2 area 2 meter square velocity is 2 meters per second. Pipe 3 area 2.5 meter square and velocity is unknown. Assuming the proper water properties and velocities to be uniform across the cross section from inlet to the outlet. The exit velocity in the pipe 3. So, we are given 4 options here. Uh, we have to find out the correct answer. So, the correct answer is 2 meters per second. Option C. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the pipe network is shown here. We have to use the continuity equation to solve the problem. Q1 plus Q2 equal to Q3. So, A1 U1 plus A2 V2 equal to A3 V3. So, substituting A1 is 1, V1 is 1, A2 is 2, V2 is 2, A3 is 2.5, V3 is the unknown. So, left hand side 1 plus 4 equal to 5, 5 divided by 2.5 equal to 2 meters per second. So, V3 equal to 2 meters per second. The next question from 2010 question paper, velocity vector of the fluid is given by V vector equal to 2 xy i vector minus x square z is a vector. The velocity, the velocity vector at the 1 comma 1 comma 1, x equal to 1, y equal to 1, z equal to 1 is, we have 4 options here. The correct answer is option D, i vector minus 4 k vector. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, velocity vector of the fluid is given by v vector equal to 2 x y i vector minus x square z j vector. So, here u equal to 2 x y, v equal to minus x square z. So, the vorticity equal to 2 into rotation. So, psi equal to 2 omega that is the equation. So, the vorticity equal to determinant. We have i vector, j vector, k vector, dou by dou x, dou by dou y, dou by dou z, u v w. So, substituting u equal to 2 x y, v equal to minus x square z, component w is not given here. So, 0. So, determining the value i vector so, this row, this column and the, this rows are deleted. Do by do y of 0 minus do by do z of minus x square z. So, do by do y was 0 minus do by do z of minus x square z minus j vector. So, do by do x of 0 minus do by do z of 2xy plus k vector. Do by do x of minus x square z minus do by do y of minus 2xy. So, calculating. So, here it is 0. So, dou by dou z of minus x square z equal to x square. This is 0. Here, uh, j into dou by dou z of 2xy, that is also 0. k vector dou by dou x of minus x square z, that is 2xz minus dou by dou of 2xy equal to 2x. So, this equal to x square i minus 2xz plus 2xk. Substituting x equal to 1, y equal to 1, z equal to 1, the vorticity equal to i minus 4k. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2014 question paper. Consider the following statement regarding streamlines. It is continuous line such that the tangent at any point, or any point, it shows the velocity vector at that point. There is no flow across the streamline. Do x by u equal to do y by v equal to dou z by w is the differential equation of the streamline where u, v, w are velocities in the x, y, z directions. In an unsteady flow, the path, path of the particle is a streamline. Which are the combination of the statements are true? The statement 1, 2, 3, they are true. Fourth statement is not correct. The next question from 2014 question paper, consider the velocity field v vector equal to k into y i vector plus x into k vector, where k is a constant. The vorticity psi z equal to minus k, 
k minus k by 2 k by 2 the correct answer is minus k so we will see how in the next slide so a velocity vector is given here vorticity equal to 2 into rotation vorticity equal to 2 omega z that is equal to 2 into 1 by 2 into dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y this equal to dou u by dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou x dou by dou x of 0 minus dou by dou y of k y equal to minus k so vorticity equal to minus k that is the answer so we stop here so these are all the books i have published in mechanical engineering subject so there is one uh, book fluid mechanics and machinery you can refer to the book for theory part and i upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the youtube channel you can subscribe the channel use the video lectures for your better preparation thank you for watching please post your comments on the comments box you can contact me for any clarification on the subject we'll meet again with another video lecture in the gate question paper solution for the gate question paper in the fluid mechanics until then bye